So you might wonder, what is it I'm doing? Well, I just got off the struggle bus hooking up the disc to the 1020. And uh, so what this is, is a, uh, a bit of an experiment. We'll see if the 1020 has what it takes to pull that disc through this buckwheat. That's what we're after. So uh, checked all the oil, coolant, all that. We got that all good. Threw some weight on the front because I figured we need all the help we can get. And then what we're going to do is uh, we got it in four-wheel drive. And then we will uh, experiment with gear settings and see what we can come up with. Question is, will it do it? I don't know. We'll find out. Stick with me. Like a champ. Oh yeah. 1020. That's what it takes. So, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Well, okay, the uh, little 1020 doing the job, but I gotta say, uh, without the weights on the front, we probably would be uh, struggling a bit, so a bit more, maybe I should say. But, uh, you know what, it'll, uh, it'll do the job. So uh, I'll get going again here, we'll give you some more views of it, and uh, go from there. Well, there you have it. The uh, 1020 did a pretty good job of pulling my uh, my disc. So I didn't know how well it would do, but you know, it wasn't too bad. The uh, main thing with this um, tractor is that the prior owner has made some fabric cobbles and so this is welded up this is all bent up the stays are in bad shape stuck this one's broke and messed with and honestly I've got to get all that repaired because this disc <clears throat> these do swing into the tires the di and it's so I, when I'm turning around I have to be extra careful about that but other than that uh, the little tractor did a pretty good job, so I, uh, I can't can't complain too much. The little guy pulled it pretty good. I was I was doubtful, I gotta say, but I will I will tell you the the weights on the front definitely helped a lot uh, in a lot of different ways. So that uh, that worked out pretty good. So let's take a look at the ground. What I didn't catch on the edges, I'll mow. That'll take care of it. So. Uh, 
way more mellow than uh, the July time. So, you know, we've got, uh, you know, at least it's halfway soft now, most places. Um, you know, it's uh, not bad. You know, it's getting some rain on it and all that sure helped out a bunch. So, anyway, the buckwheat is terminated. We were getting real close to seed. Because I'm in the mood to experiment, I am going to let this little patch go. And I'm going to see what happens. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see if, uh, when this sets seed, if it'll uh, reseed itself, if it'll grow this fall, or what will happen to it. So uh, I figured I'd leave a, a small patch here and let it uh, let it do its thing and see how uh, see how it goes so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a like if you want to see more tractor 1020 or any other Massey Ferguson and or caterpillar stuff let me know um, I'll definitely uh, be back into the some of the caterpillar content here fairly soon, within a month or so, I suppose. And other than that, I'll be playing with the Masters for a while. And we'll, uh, we'll come back and give you some more from time to time. Thanks. I really appreciate it.